What's going on yakkers? Today we're going to talk about some of the equipment that I use to go out fishing with. So stay tuned and see what it's all about. So obviously you can see from some of the pictures that I am using a Concept A3 Baitcaster by 13 Fishing. I'm also using a 13 Fishing Creed GT or it's a 1.3. I don't know how that situation is going. Spinning reel is actually pretty good. I just got it in from Tackle Warehouse a little bit before the hurricane hit. Um, it's actually a pretty good reel. I went out. I've caught a few trout off of it already. It casts nice. Um, so far I haven't had any problems with it being in the salt water. Um, I'm not a big person to completely clean all their stuff like they're supposed to after every fishing trip. I kind of like my stuff to go out, go fish, come home, and relax. Now for the bait caster, the 13 Fishing A3. Really good bait caster. I've only been bait casting for six months now. Um, I started out with Abu Garcia, like a cheap one from uh, Academy. And right off the bat, uh, I wanted a 13 fishing. And an inspiration to it was obviously Texas Redfish Hunter. Uh, he loved his reels so much, I had to go get my own. Um, I started out with the Concept uh, A, just the Concept A at first, which was great. But like I said, don't really take care of my stuff. I rinse it off like I'm supposed to. So the salt water already started chipping away at the paint. Um, otherwise than that, you know, it still operated really good. I'm going to take you out in the water and let you see for yourself. I'm going to show you how the concept A3 is casting. I'm going to also show a video of our buddy Tyler casting it for his first time too, but I'm just going to show you how it casts in a stable mode instead of on the kayak and see, uh, what you guys think if you're thinking about buying one it's really good real like i said it's just a little bit more wider of a body than the concept a so it's a nice cast smooth i mean it has the salt water protection on it so being out here in the salt water Or at least I think it's a better reel than the Concept A due to its being more saltwater friendly. Now the Concept Z, the zero ball bearing, is going to be uh, even better because it has no ball bearings, or well, at least it only a polymer ball bearing. Polymer ball bearing. So it's going to be even better, or at least more saltwater friendly. So as you can see, I mean it reels nice. I have left handed. I am a right handed person, but I like to use my reels left handed. So if you're thinking about getting the concept or a 13 fishing bait caster, concept A3 is really nice. So just a uh, a little Thing. Tyler hasn't thrown a left-handed bait caster even though he uses spinning reels as a left-handed crank so uh, this is just a thing to uh, show y'all him doing it seeing how bad he messes up if not 13 fishing reels are really good 
and this is his first time ever casting a 13 fishing reel and left hand crank so let's check it out Not too shabby, my friend. Not too shabby at all. So see, even you can go out and buy yourself a 13 fishing bait caster, left-handed or right-handed, whatever you prefer. <laughs> and look at there, with a little bit of setup, you'll be good to go. All right, so this is the Cree GT spinning. Um, it's not rated for salt water on their 13 fishing's website but of course i'm salt water so this is going to be a little bit more maintenance make sure you clean it rinse it off probably after every use i have a little top water or not top water but a little popping cork on here so we're just going to see how it uh, casts also has a 30 pound braid I do you believe it's a fins braid but we'll just give it a throw Thanks for watching.